Well, hi, this is Chase, obviously, and in this video, I want to show you how you can uh, receive uh, a transfer of a Wix.com website from me and then go on to duplicate websites for people in your team or just be able to help out, basically. So go to Wix.com, and what you want to do is uh, start now and create a an account. And basically, what I will want is the email address that you use to create your account with. And um, then once I know your email address, I can send you a or transfer you a copy. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you what I will do when I would transfer. Now, um, on the when I log in, you may I, I come into all my sites. And on the top left, you'll see my sites. Each one of these is a set of the pages for an individual like Mike and Linda and John and such, Lynn, uh, Steve. I've just named them with their first name. Now, we might run into a problem with two Jeffs, but you could do a last name or, um, you know, be creative with a number or something like that. Probably a last name or initial two would help. So what I'm going to do now is the one that says home is kind of my master. And I'm going to select that site. And then I'm going to manage that site. When I go to manage, I get a row of these options. And right up here is transfer. And so now I'm in the home account, which is, uh, and I'll show you in just a second, it's made up of four pages. It really only needs three, but there's four. Uh, and then I just click on transfer the website. And the email is the email that I need for the other Wix user, which is you. So I need to know your email address, and then I can transfer it. And what you'll do is check your email uh, and it'll just say accept and you'll have to accept this transfer. Okay, it's really easy So at that point you would have pro it might be called home. I, I can't recall it might be uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at that. But basically uh, I'll, I'll take a look at it in just a moment But here is where you can duplicate the site so once you've accepted and you have I believe it'll be home um, you can duplicate it for another team member. So what you would do is click duplicate and instead of home copy, this is where we would um, name it uh, one of our team members and I'll just say, I'll, I'll just do Joseph. Uh, we don't have a Joseph. but uh, And I can create a copy within my account. I'm not transferring it, I'm duplicating it. Now, if, if a person is of basic um, you know, computer skills, um, they could probably just make a Wix.com account and you could transfer. But just to make things really super easy, I'm just going to duplicate it. So uh, let's say Joseph would never have to set the thing up or make a few little changes in the username. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click duplicate for Joseph. And then I get this green bar right at the top, and I can click Check It Out, and I will go from Home to Joseph. So I'll click on Check It Out, and it takes me right over into Joseph. Okay, Now, Joseph is not published, and it needs to be fixed with the username on the third page. So let's just go ahead and manage the site. This is just a test account at this point. There really isn't a Joseph, but... I'm going to click on the edit button to edit the site and get his username on the third page. Okay, so there's nothing special about this. This is the video and click for next step. You don't need a username there. So we'll click on this down arrow, which you don't quite see, but it's just right above uh, this pages uh, template or this pages little pop up. Now we're on the home page. Uh, as you can see, it's light blue. Okay, we're on the home page. The next step page is the second page. This, by the way, is the page a, a, a user would link if they're using an autoresponder. Uh, and they would want to put this page link into their uh, confirmation URL when they confirm in Traffic Wave. This page is what... The pages, if someone comes in off the autoresponder, traffic wave, and they subscribe, this is the page you're going to want to see with the three videos. Okay, Now you can get to that URL by clicking the three dots, 
and another little option pops up and go to page SEO page SEO click once coming down here we will s scroll down and then here is the URL now it's not published uh, that's the problem but it's going to give you a URL so let's go back we need to publish it so we'll come back to this this is the join page the third one so I'm going to click on it and make it go light blue and the join page has my last video describing the options and then how to set up their accounts and how to get going. It has team testimonials. You will not need to change this link. Only this one, which says click to join the Bitcoin revolution. We need to get the Joseph's username here and then put Joseph here and his username there just so they see that they're going to be joining with Joseph. Okay, it's awesome. This last page, kind of a mistake. It's not a mistake. It's just a testimonial photo. No one will know about it. Uh, there's no link to it, but it'll just duplicate it. And the reason I made that was they could uh, have this page on, on their screen. They could navigate to this URL and then talk to their screen like I'm doing now and do a testimonial. So uh, let's not worry about that. Let's go to the join page. Okay, and you just click on it once and you can leave this little... Uh, floating thing up here um, palette that's what I was looking for now go down to the bottom and we're gonna uh, change and we're gonna say Joseph Joseph Smith for last lack of a, uh, a name but if I just uh, double click on <clears throat> my name Chase I can type Joseph okay and then I'll double click right on the word Swift and I'll go S M I T H and then we'll just say Joseph, maybe. And I got a funny little uh, thing going on there. Um, so I'm going to double click that. Don't worry about this. This is a plugin that I have. It's grammarly. It's thinking it's misspelled. Um, so disregard that. Let's t just say his username is Joseph S. Okay, or just Joseph. Let's just do that. So his username is Joseph. I could actually double click that. And then I could copy it. Then, if I want to, I could click out in the black, and I get another little, I always get this change page design, even if I click way up here, it goes up here, and that sometimes gets it out of the way. It's always there, don't worry. Now, I can click on the button, because they're going to click to join, they got to get, I got to get Joseph's username there. So, click once, click on the link to change it, the link is the URL. You'll probably see where it says Chase Swift, we don't want that, we want... And I'm just double clicking. There's a light, light, light blue. And I'm just double clicking. Do you see the light, light blue? When I double click, it just selected my username. It's just light blue right there. And I can choose paste. And there is Joseph. Right after the equal sign, there cannot be a space. If you do, you you will mess it up for every sign up. And it will not go under Joseph. It will just go under uh, Daniel Butts or whoever created getting BTC and that's tragic okay make sure there's no space before or after the username okay that looks perfectly good uh, I can actually zoom in too by the way and you can see that there is no space a space would look like that okay a space would look like that and you could actually click and then arrow over one and you can even highlight that's a space that's wrong so I didn't have a space but I showed you what one it is and a space here not as critical but still a problem and so I've highlighted it light blue right there that would be a space don't want a space you want the cursor just snug right up to the equal sign and right to the ampersand make sure you get it right if who's ever doing this you've got to do it right okay and then click done and you can click, I click up here in the corner, get that change page design up there and, and whatever. Then um, what you're going to do is click save. And it's going to save all the pages. Okay, they'll be saved. They won't be published, but they're saved. Now it's been saved. It says your changes have been saved. Here's the URL. It's not highlighted all the way out because it hasn't been published. We need to publish the site. So you just click on publish now. Boom. Now it's published. Now you get the URL, which you can um, select to do a triple click. And then if you want, you can just right click and choose copy. Okay. You can also click on view site and it'll open up in a new tab your site. 
So I like that. It's easy. Click once on view site. There is the URL. Okay. Why? Well, this is Chase Swift. So it loaded the first page. Awesome. The viewer would click to the next step. If someone is using autoresponder, this is well, this is the page you want to load. So you would get the URL uh, up in the top and uh, put that into the uh, subscri uh, subscription confirmation URL inside Traffic Wave. When they subscribe, this is the page they want to see. They want to see three videos and like, oh my gosh, they don't need to see. What is Bitcoin? They don't need to see the uh, first page. So then the next step is most important. Check it. It's going to be my video that will autoplay. Why? Well, okay. And then they can learn how to join BTC, getting BTC and all that. Look at that. Down here, you will be Joseph joining with Joseph Smith. And my username is on the resulting sign-up pages, Joseph. And I would always put lowercase, always lowercase. Don't put an uppercase letter in a username. Click on the button. And it's going to go to Getting BTC. And I'll pause the video. And then you would click Join Now to make sure. Look, Joseph, it worked. If you've done, if you've done everything correctly, it will say Joseph. If you add a space, it'll say something else. And that is not a happy day. I'm going to close that. This site is done. Uh, we don't have a Joseph on the team yet, but his site is done. All Why, three pages are done. If he's not using the autoresponder, he would use this page, my introduction. If he's not using the autoresponder, he'd use the first page. If he use, is using the autoresponder, he can type in or paste in the username, or I'm sorry, the URL of this page into Traffic Wave in the confirmation URL area of the hosted capture page. If you don't understand that, don't worry. So there you go, the process of opening an account and transferring it uh, or duplicating it, depending on whether you're able to change the username or not. Uh, so thanks for watching this. And by the way, if you wanna get back up to the home and all that, you just click here and you manage all your sites. We're inside of Joseph. We don't need any apps. We go back to home, which is not the name of my home, but it's just the name of all the sites. And you're going to be able to see Joseph. And there's the home site, which I used to duplicate. And then uh, the usernames of some of the other team members. And then what you can do is just select the site if you need to edit or whatever. But uh, I would always go back to select my home site as the site to duplicate. And I would just continue the process and you can either transfer or duplicate from there this is chase uh, rewind this video if you missed a step i think i covered it all and uh, it's pretty easy if you have good uh, as in perfect perfect copy and paste skills you need to be perfect you can't be somewhat good to do this you got to be perfect this is chase swift we'll see you in the next video bye for now